Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're returning and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rachel and I'm a reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Today I'm doing a 90 day update on a box I purchased from Boutique by the Box a few months ago. This was the Lane Bryant Livy Activewear box. So if you want to see what sold for me and how much money I made on this box and if I would buy another one based on my results, definitely stick around. So I purchased this one back in November. I'm a little bit late on the 90 day update on this one. Um, but this one was available for a few months. I think I purchased it when it went on sale. Lane Bryan is typically a pretty good seller for me, but the cost was a little high in my opinion when they first listed it. But when it went on sale, I had to grab it just because of the brand and the cost of goods is, is relatively reasonable when it was on sale. So. Um, what I'll do is I'll talk about what sold, how much it sold for, what platform it sold on. Um, then I'll tell you what I still have left. And at the very end, I'll give you my recommendation of whether or not I'd buy another one based on my results. If you like reseller content, certainly consider subscribing to my channel. Anytime I get a new mystery box, I come on, I unbox it live, I show you what came in the box, and then I come back 90 days later to give you my actual results and recommendation based on what actually sold for me. I also love sharing my reseller strategies, tips and tricks in general, and just things that help me in my business in hopes that they help you in yours. Hit that like button if you could. That helps out the channel a lot as well. And let me know in the comments if you purchased this box. I feel like a lot of us got this same box and uh, I had a lot of duplicates in my box. So I'm just curious to know, like, did you get the same stuff as me? How did yours perform? Let me know in the comments and I'm going to get right into it. This box was a 40 piece box. It was all the brand Lane Bryant, but it was Livy, which I think is their like activewear diffusion line. My cost per piece was $7.20 or $288 for the entire box. And as of right now of the 40, I've sold 22, which means I have 18 left. So just about halfway sold. Um, full transparency, I'm at about four months, a little four and a half. I'm a little behind on my unboxing or my 90 day update. So my apologies, but this is what has sold so far. Very interesting on this one because I I've been sharing like where the stuff has sold because different brands sell on different platforms. This one is really like even across my three. So Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, we're at about a third, a third, and a third, slightly less on Mercari. But as far as like platforms that sometimes boxes like will sell overwhelmingly well on Poshmark or overwhelmingly well on eBay, this box is pretty even across the board. So that's very interesting. That's why I love cross posting and just getting my, my stuff on as many platforms as possible in front of as many customers as possible because, you know, it's possible they sell anywhere. I'll show you lowest sale price item to highest sale price item. Then I'll show you what I have left. And then at the end, I'll talk about my recommendation. So starting with the lowest sale price, this was the tie dye one shoulder t-shirt. I only had one of these. Um, it was literally just a t-shirt. And so this was a eBay sale. It sold on March 3rd. So it had been listed a little over 90 days. Somebody offered me $10. I did take it. Um, same with these blue tie-dye joggers. Somebody offered me $10. Again, we were over the 90 days. The one thing I will say about this stuff is it's like sweatshirts and hoodies. It takes up a lot of space. So once I got to the 90-day mark on some of this stuff, I was like ready to see it go. And in fact, I'll mention, shameless plug, when I get to the stuff that hasn't sold, if you see it and you're like, oh, I want that, please go on my platforms and make me an offer. The stuff that I do still have continues to take up a lot of space and um, I'm, I'm willing to let it go. So make me an offer. But anyway, this was one of those situations. Somebody offered me, these were a size 26, 28. So a very large size pair of sweat joggers taking up a lot of space. I'm like, okay, yes, eBay sale, $10, go ahead. I, you know, made my money back on it. So that's fine. Um, then I had two of these gray banded bottom t-shirts. The eBay sale was relatively soon after I listed it, so I don't have a screenshot for that, but you get the idea. It's the same shirt. One sold on Poshmark for $12. The other sold on eBay for $13. 
One was a size 14, 16, one was a size 30, 32, but it was the exact same shirt and they sold within a week of each other. Then there was this aqua blue, again, same style. This was just a different color. And actually, I think this one, maybe the eBay sale was both of these together because the gray one and the aqua one um, sold at the same time on the same day on eBay for the same price. So I think somebody bundled those together. Um, then there was a pair of blue coral cropped joggers. These were in 1820. These sold for, uh, these took only about three weeks, but they were a $15 Poshmark sale. Um, because I had so many duplicates of the same stuff, I wasn't really like super motivated to hang on to these. So somebody made me an offer. I did go ahead and take it. There were a pair of coral cropped jogger pants in a size 22-24 these sold in about three, no, about two months on eBay for $15.17. I think I was running a sale, um, so those sold within my sale. There was this blue tie-dye hoodie. Um, both of these sold on Poshmark, so I had one in a size 22-24. This was a $16 Poshmark sale, and another one was a size 14-16. Um, this was an $18 Poshmark sale sold in a bundle, so... Um, two sales, different sizes, same exact hoodie. There's a lot of duplicates in this box, like I said. Um, here's another pair of joggers. Um, these sold just under the two month mark on Mercari for $18. That was before all the changes happened on Mercari. So the uh, normal standard fees applied there. Here's a pair of coral jogger pants. Um, again, same pants, different platforms. I think the eBay ones, I probably don't have a screenshot. So you'll you'll see that the same ones were sold on Poshmark. The eBay ones sold for eight, um, $19 back in December. And then the Poshmark sale was a $20 Poshmark sale. Um, one was a size 22, one was a size 26, 28. There was a gray, it was like a short sleeve hoodie dress. Um, this was a $20 Poshmark sale. Took about three months. I don't know. It was th this stuff too. And this in general for all of it, I was really hoping to find some stock photos. I couldn't find anything on any of this stuff. So it did make it a little difficult because this stuff was so large, like the sizes were so large. Um, it was a little bit difficult to photograph too. It didn't really like look super nice on a hanger. So I had that working against me a little bit. Um, and again, this was the size 26, 28, and it was taking up a ton of space. So a sweatshirt hoodie dress in a large size, very, very much space takes up in these boxes. So when I got a $20 offer on Poshmark after a few months, I'm like, yeah, of course, sure. Um, usually my goal on this stuff is to triple my money if the cost of goods is lower, double if it's higher. So at this point, everything that's sold, I've at least doubled my money after fees. So it's like, okay, just get it out of here, right? Um, here's another pair of the blue tie-dye joggers. These were a $20 Poshmark sale after about two months. There was this blue tie-dye hoodie dress. This one was long sleeve, so it was even worse, even more fabric. Um, this was a $20 Mercari sale. This one was only listed about three weeks though, so... That, that's good. That one didn't sit too long. But again, somebody made me an offer. I'm like, okay, I'm at least doubling my money. That's great. Let's get it out of here. There was this coral tie-dye hoodie. This was a size 22, 24. This one was actually kind of nice. And in fact, if this one would have been a size like 12 or maybe even a 14, um, probably would have been a little big on me. But I may have considered keeping one of those for myself. But I don't think I got any in that size. That was also a $20 Mercari sale. This one sold in just three weeks. Um, another Mercari sale, the blue tie-dye hoodie dress, another $20 sale. That one went on two months. Again, accept the offer, get it out of here. Um, I think we're at the top five. Yes, we are. I wasn't um, super excited about this stuff when I opened it up. A lot of duplicates, like I said, take up a lot of space. And also too, in general, just the fabric and stuff didn't feel like super high quality. It felt very cheap. And so I didn't, I knew I wasn't going to get like the MSRP or anything close to it. So 
it was one of those things like, okay, I can start accepting offers and move it out or I can let this stuff sit here forever because it's probably not worth what the MSRP suggests. So that was kind of my, my line of thinking as we went through this one. Okay, anyway, so back to the top five here. Last Poshmark sale. This one was sold by offer, $22. It was a pair of the blue and coral tie-dye crop joggers in a size 18 20. Um, This one took about six weeks to sell. Next up, um, one of these was a Mercari sale. One of these was a eBay sale, exact same hoodie, exact same size. The Mercari sale was $22 and the eBay sale was $24.99. Um, they were both a size 30, 32, so large size hoodie. Um, and then the number two highest sale was a pair of the blue full length tie dye joggers. That was a $25 and 49 cent eBay sale because those were so heavy. Um, the buyer actually paid a pretty penny for shipping on those. So I didn't get as much, but I mean, the buyer did pay a lot. So, so there's that. And the highest selling item out of this entire box was one of those blue tie-dye hoodie dresses. It was a $29.99 eBay sale. Took about eight weeks to sell, but it was a full price sale. And it says partially refunded because this one, I was able to refund the buyer a little bit of the shipping cost. Um, especially because they paid full price. I was totally cool with doing that. All right, so that's what sold out of this box. Um, what I have left... And I'm going to totally just go through these fast because it's mostly duplicates of stuff you've seen already. I've got a few varieties of the banded bottom t-shirt. Again, they're just t-shirts. I wanted to maybe see if I could make an outfit with like a pair of the joggers and the shirt because like the coral color and then the coral joggers. None of the shirts and the, the pants were uh, a matching size. So I was not able to do that. Um... I've got a nice little garden variety of the hoodies. This white one that has like the splotches on it, that's the only one that there wasn't a duplicate that sold. All the others are duplicates of ones that have sold already in various sizes. And then I've got this jumpsuit. It was a sweatshirt jumpsuit and I still have a nice variety. I think I've got one in every single size. Um, I have not sold any of these and these are taking up a lot a lot of space so if you want one of these please send me an offer um but that's everything 22 items in total that i have not sold at all so rundown of the actual results here to recap i paid 288 dollars for the box currently i'm at 399 dollars in sales after fees so my profit so far is 111 dollars um Typically with a new with tag box, I want to at least double my money, which means I would have wanted to at least made 288 in profit. And so I've not done that yet. So I've not, I've made profit. I'm not in the hole, but I have not doubled my money. So was it a good box? No, not really. I I wouldn't order another one. It like I said, as if I haven't said it enough, this stuff took up a lot of space. It's continuing to take up a lot of space. The quality was not there. The cost per piece was okay. I think I could potentially double my money if I sell off the rest of it, but it wasn't the easiest to list because I couldn't find any information online and um, it wasn't really easy to photograph. So not my favorite. I, I don't think I would buy this one again. Not at this cost. Um, it was nice to have the Lane Brain in my closet. I do think it brings some um, some traction in my closet because it is a popular brand. It is a, it is a good selling brand. And it was listed at the beginning of like Christmas time and then moving into New Year's. A lot of people start looking for active wear during that time. So I think the timing was good here. Um, it just, it didn't perform the way I would have wanted it to for me to say, yes, I would buy another one. So that's just my thoughts. Let me know down below. Again, if you've ordered these, um, how did yours do? How did you expect this to go for me? I will link the original unboxing video down below if you want to watch that one. And make sure you subscribe if you want to see more 90 day updates. I do still have them coming. I've got lots of them. As you can see by this video, I 
got a little bit behind because I've had so many new unboxings, but I'm trying to get myself caught up. Hit that like button if you could. That does help the channel out a lot as well. And uh, that is it for today, friends. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.